The, the Astrocetus is our space whale, for <laughs> if you want to uh, give it a fun common name there. These things are pretty awesome as well. I'll let Zane talk a little bit about the gameplay stuff. But the team's really excited about the lunar biome. It's just one of the cool biomes. You saw the new uh, bog earlier on Extra Life um, with the uh, Bloodstalker in it. Uh, the, just like the bog, it's such a cool new place to play in the game. And we've really tried to pull out all the stops uh, for the, the environments here in Genesis, as you can hopefully tell from this crazy psychic psychedelic lunar biome. Uh, it's orbiting a strange planet uh, as the day cycle goes on. Uh, the, you're on this sort of broken moon that's like orbiting around the planet. It's got rings. There's uh, galaxies in the background and this crazy awesome fog. Uh, this sort of like this element fog that's kind of just roaming around and, and this gaseous stuff that's th that's there. And it's such a cool environment. Um, what, what else can you tell us about it, Zane? Uh, it's, it's dangerous. Well, Sorry, let me get, let me get my mic on. Uh, it's it's definitely hazardous. It's it's a challenge to be there. Uh, it, it's it's very fun with the the low gravity just by itself. Uh, all the bouncing around that you can do, jumping to much higher places. Uh, there will also be oxygen vents to help supplement your breathing. Uh, uh, it is a it does have an atmosphere. It's just a much lower atmosphere, so your oxygen will slowly drain over time. And there will be these oxygen vents that you can use to either get oxygen or actually launch yourself around yep. uh, to get to much higher or further places. Um, what about the sunlight and the day-night stuff? So, and that's the that's the the catch. Uh, as you're traveling around, and as the sun is rotating around this uh, this this conglomerate of rocks that you're <laughs> you're inhabiting. Um, you you, ha you don't have a thick enough atmosphere to actually protect you. So once that sun starts to hit you, it's just immediate night and day difference. You start to roast. You start to just take a, a immediate effects from it. Uh, so it's a little bit like aberration, but maybe not as extreme. Well, and it it actually matches the sun. Yeah, uh, it's <laughs> we're 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 fully going into it, and it it it's perfect. If you find a rock with a little place to hide under, you'll be safe. Um, so. Suddenly, uh, those 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 big pyres in the terrain are are super helpful because they help you navigate around to, uh, the sun and stay safe. So if you see some shadows and you get in the shadows, you're going to be totally protected fine. from that. Yeah. Or if you're running without shadows, I guess if you can see the sun or not. <laughs> so that's going to be a little difficult. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's probably you know if you if the sun's yeah. blocked by a rock, you're probably safe even if you have shadows turned off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So for those of our, our illustrious players that love SM4 with no shadows and the lowest quality possible, um, the lunar biome they'll still know where the hazards at by looking for the sun, but they will have to look for the sun and make sure it's blocked. Yeah. Everyone else will be able to see the shadows and know exactly where it's coming from. And it will be very clear, night and day, if you're in the shadows, you're safe. If you're in the sunlight, it's a little dangerous. Totally. And it gets pretty fun jumping from rock to rock every now and then. That sunlight's coming dra straight from below. Yeah. So as you're jumping across, you're taking a little bit of damage, and you're just like, oh, I hope It's I burning your, it. the bottoms of your feet as exactly. you're jumping. Ouch. Yeah. Ow. Uh, speaking of jumping on top of things... Tell us a little bit more about this Astrocetus. Uh, pretty sure they can uh, have a little bit of fun jumping from creature to creature, right? Oh yeah, these guys are amazing. Being an Astrocetus, a, a space whale of <laughs> sorts, uh, they have a lot of magical abilities. Uh, their main one being that they have a, a teleport, a, a hyperdrive of sorts. Mm. Uh, and what that does is anything within their close range or their immediate vicinity will actually be pulled into this bubble and uh, blinked into the their target destination as a group or as a fleet and you can control that uh, when you tame these creatures right yes once you get once you get through the taming process which is not going to be <laughs> an easy feat um, these things are are definitely an alpha tame uh, they're a top tier tame so they're going to be a very difficult thing to get, and they're going to be a limited thing to get. We don't want everyone having a thousand of these. They are going to be very, very, very capable. Um, I, I still imagine like about four or five of these blinking in like star destroyers coming in to like <laughs> yes. mess with somebody. <laughs> well, and then once they get there, what are they going to be bringing? What is a what is a Astrocetus really going to be doing? And 
in all honesty, their their travel abilities are are really all they're good at in combat. They yeah. have a great bite. They have an awesome tail whip, which looks beautiful. But compared to other dinos, that's not much. Um, but they do make up with their their saddle, which is next tier of any saddle we've ever done, because this saddle comes equipped with three three ball turrets. So it's like a World War Two bomber or something. Yeah. yeah. So you can not only bring your fleet in with you, but you also come equipped with gun turrets to just pummel the enemy or whoever's coming after you. Or like the Millennium Falcon or something. Yes, or like <laughs> nice. the Millennium Falcon. Gun the gunner. Yeah. That's yes. cool. But what if they're not tamed in the environment? Can you, I think you can jump on them and they're kind of docile, aren't they? Unless you kind of provoke them. Yeah, they, they won't mess with you. Um, and they'll leave you alone. If you do provoke them, they will definitely try to push you out. And they, they don't like being stuck in one place. Yep. They're, they're very difficult to get locked down. And part of that taming process is a very involved tame. Um, and we, if you try to, to game it, it's not going to work out well for mm. you. They, do, they, do, they can blink out of existence. Indeed. So uh, what about what else we got in the Lunar Biome? We got any fun missions or any like fun little cool things that, that happen there? It's funny you, you say that. We haven't said anything about missions. <laughs> this we've, whole time. We've well, now's as good as time as any to talk about a little bit of missions. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we did our best. We did real well. 